What is up, Calc Gang? Today we're going to be solving this problem. It's pretty cool, right? It's a double integral. And at first it looks kind of hard, right? You guys think you could evaluate this? DY of this? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's easy. So we're gonna reevaluate it, guys. It's crazy. So let's write down what we know. So first of all, we have dx on this one here. So we know that x goes from zero to one. Crazy stuff. And we have y here. We know that y goes from this value to one. So we have y is equal to square root of x and y is equal to one. So let's graph this. x is equal to zero. Boom, and x is equal to one. I'm gonna write that down. And we have y is equal to one. So it's gonna be somewhere in here. And y is equal to square root of x, or I don't know, y squared is equal to x. It's pretty, pretty easy. It's gonna look like that, an intersect right here. So, which one are we doing? Are we doing this one? We're doing this one. So we know that we're going from square root of x to one. This is square root of x. And this is y is equal to one. So we're going from here to here. It's gonna look like this section is what we're doing. But our problem is we can't solve it with dy first. We're gonna to need to reevaluate and make dx first. So we need to reevaluate our bounds. So basically, we're gonna to need to rewrite this. So in terms of x, we know that x is equal to y squared. And if we're doing this, we're gonna go from, and if we're doing it in terms of dx, dy, you know, you go from bottom to top and whatever line you hit first. If we're doing x, we start here, x is equal to zero. We move across. So what do we hit first? We hit x is equal to zero, and then we hit x is equal to y squared. So our new integral is gonna look like this. Zero, or x is equal to zero. X is equal to y squared. And then we're gonna have the other integral on the outside. This is gonna be what terms of y is. So where does y go from? The lowest value of y is gonna be equal to zero right here. I mean, it kinda of gets really little bitty, but you know it hits zero here. And it goes all the way up to y is equal to one, because that's our other bound. So zero to one. Now this function stays the same, y to the third plus one, and then instead of dy dx, it's gonna be dx dy, because this is in terms of x. So now from here, we have a function we can actually really start on. So we have zero to one, and then we're gonna evaluate this, which is pretty simple, actually, this is a constant. So we can bring out the y to the three plus one, because we're solving in terms of dx, and this is only in terms of y. That means it's basically a constant. And then we have x is our constant from zero to y squared dy. Now we're gonna re, we're gonna open this up a little bit. Zero to one, uh, square root of y to the third plus one. And this is gonna be just y squared because it'll be at minus zero, but who cares? So here we can do a u sub, guys, it's crazy. U is equal to y to the third plus one du is equal to three y squared dy. Bring that one third out. And now we can substitute u and du. Pretty crazy. I'm gonna reevaluate our bounds first. So we start to u is equal to one, or u is equal to zero. So, it, or no. This is y is equal to zero. We're gonna plug this into here to get one instead of zero u2 is equal to 1. We're going to plug this into here, just 2. All right, so now we can reevaluate our integral with u instead. So we cannot forget this 1 third. We're going to bring that out because it's a constant. From 1 to 2, square root of u, du. Now we can evaluate this. u becomes 2 thirds u to the 3 halves from 1 to 2. And this is just some algebra stuff. Um, you can bring up the two thirds actually to make two ninths. Make it a little prettier for you guys. Two to the three halves minus one. Two to the three halves, you can imagine what that is. Uh, two thirds square root of that. So two to the third is eight. And that breaks down into two and four, which makes down to two and two. 
these twos come together, so it's gonna be two square root of two. So coming over here, two ninths, two square root of two minus one, and this is our answer. We can simplify that further, but I'm not gonna. Nice math, guys, good calculus. Good luck on your homeworks.